Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Google Analytics with Google Tag Manager. So first and first, you want to go to your browser and you want to search Google Tag Manager, okay? So once you click on it, you want to click on the first one, first link. All right. So once it opens up like this, uh, this should be your website or Google Tag account. But if you don't have an account, you can always, you know, create a new account. All right. So this is just the account setup, your company name, country, uh, platform, and then you create. So it's pretty easy and straightforward. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to go back. So right here, once you've created your account, just click on it. All right. So this is our workspace. So the first thing you want to do is add a new tag to your website. Just click on it. All right. So you can, I'm not going to put details on how to add tag. So you can check some other videos on my channel on how to add, how to configure this tag. Okay. So once you put your tag on your website, it's going to look like this. All right. So right it's gonna look like this it's it's like in a code so once whatever happens on your website like uh if you uh it's gonna be triggered by this tag and then you can see the analytics on your Google. all right so once you've done that you've added this tag to your website all right so once you've added a tag to your website uh Okay, so to preview it to see what it's going to look like, just click on preview. All right. And it's going to load up and then you're going to put your URL in this box and you're going to connect it up to your uh, website. Okay, so it's pretty easy. Go back. So after connecting the tag, what we want to do next is go to Google Analytics. All right. So you just want to click on this four box switch product and you click on analytics. All right. So for the sake of this video, I'm going to create a new account. Okay. So uh, this is how you can create Google analytics. Just go to account. All right. So my account name then you're going to input your account name click that then you click on next so property so right there it says to measure your web and app data read the google analytics for property so property name you're going to input a property name you're going to select the currency and the location you click on next so business details uh, what kind of business is it Okay, so I'm just gonna go with computer and electronics, small, click on text. So choose the business objective. What are we trying to get for this business? Leads, sales, traffic, user engagement, attention, can create, okay? So you are going to set, set, accept. All right, so as you can see down here, it says account and property created. So after that, what you want to do is choose a platform to collect your data if you have it. So most people would want to go with web or if you have an Android app or iOS app. All right, so we've set up a new account. So right here, it says start collecting data of a website so since you have a url website you have a website so we're gonna click on web okay so right here you're gonna input your website name okay uh so once you input your website create and continue all right so uh choose how to set up google tag okay so you can install manually below the tag for your account copy and paste this code 
on every page of your website immediately after the ad. Alright, so it says data connection isn't active for your website. Install tag on So I have not installed the tag. So it's just pretty easy, like I said. Alright, you go to your website and then you find your Google Analytics. Okay, and then you add your Google Analytics ID to your website. All right, so the other way to do this, if it shows data collection isn't active on your website is you copy this measurement ID, then we go back to Google Tag Manager. So on here, you want to go to Tags, again, okay. All right, so right here, since it's a new tag, so you want to click on a new and then you, you you should name this tab so i'm gonna name it tutorial okay and you click on this pencil icon right here all right so click on google analytics okay then you want to select g4 events configuration all right, so right here it says measurement ID. Now we're going to copy and paste the ID we took from the other place. All right, so it says no Google tab found in this container. So if you get this kind of message on yours, all you want to do is just create tag. All right, so you can name it uh, the same. Tutorial. All right, so you save all pages, fingering trigger all pages. So you can set up this and you save. So once you've done that, uh, you can set up the trigger for this. Okay, so do you want to be all pages, consent initialization page, initialization page? Okay, select add up pages okay then you click on add once you've done that you click on save all right so once you've done that all right initial page all pages okay so what you want to do is click on the ones you want to submit and then you click on submit okay so right here it says fashion name you can add a descriptive version so, so remember the type of analytics this is and then a description of the one so it's live tutorial and then you click on publish this is how it's done on our so as you can see two tags trigger so every time someone comes on this website so there's you're gonna see the triggers variables and tags so this is how to set up your google tag analysis uh, analytics okay so if you gain something from this video make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe to the channel